if our ability to accomplish things in space really, I think, depends, if you can visualize in your mind a three-circle Venn diagram uh, and finding the overlap between, number one, the technically feasible, number two, the economically viable, and bearing in mind economic viability can come from direct government funding as well as commercial business models, but economically viable, and then number three, policy permissible. And those three circles are each day, each week, each month in constant motion, right? We make new policy choices. 1960s, we signed a limited test ban treaty, and we said we're not gonna do uh, nuclear test detonations in space, right? That, that shrunk a little bit, the policy sphere. That was one thing that we weren't gonna do in space. But on the other hand, the effects on the space environment, uh, the beneficial effects on the space environment of not blowing up a lot of nuclear weapons in space, probably made some things economically viable that wouldn't have otherwise been, and probably also uh, made some things uh, technically feasible that wouldn't otherwise have been. So those are in constant motion at no more, you know, at times like this where we're going through administration transitions, arrival of new people, new perspectives, we're seeing even more. We're seeing enormous change on the technical side as well. I think that's a helpful analogy to keep in mind as we think about how do you design our institutions. The other point I'd make is we have to be very clear about what problems are we trying to solve. 